Hi, this is Chip Wood, and I'm going to show you how to use Mac's preview app to create a meme. Here's one that I downloaded from the internet that's very funny, and we're going to try to recreate that. I've downloaded two dog images from the internet. Let's look at those. These are very similar and will work well. It's important to use images that have a large file size, well over 200 KB. This is 472 and 594. These will work well. And you need a large file to maintain resolution in your finished meme. Let's start here with the font, color, and point size. A condensed font that we'll use is Impact. This is the best one here. The lettering in this case is going to be black. And let's justify center and start with 45 point size. We can change that shortly. Click directly here on the text box and enter the first phrase. So now let's move this into position up here and let's make it a little larger. Keep going up until it fits the upper frame. About right there is good. Click outside the box. Now let's make another text box down here. And type in the rest of the text. And let's position this here. Click outside the box and you're set. Now, not every image will allow you the color contrast to enter text like that. And here's a good example. I'm going to show you how to make text stand out against a dynamic background, which is a background with changes in color. So again, let's go here to text impact. We can change the point size if we want to, but this time, the text will be in white. Hit the text box and start typing. And you can see we're going to have a problem here because there's a contrast in color. So what we're going to do is go to this panel and click black. And that is the fill color. Once you've done that, you can expand this to fill the upper portion of the meme. And with those same settings, click the text box We'll move this down to the lower portion down here and type in the punchline. Enter. Let's relocate that right here. And here we have some color contrast down here, so we're going to use a fill color again, black. And let's stretch the edges here to fill. And now the text is clearer against the varying color background. If you find these tutorials helpful, please subscribe.